Hey guys, it's Ruby back again with another Vegas video. Today I want to talk about the reimagined Win Buffet. So we just came back from Vegas two days ago. Sorry if I sound a little hoarse. We had a delay and our flight was kind of delayed for quite a few hours and it was a big airport situation. I just really wanted to upload this video as soon as possible for those of you who are going soon. And also because it's all still really fresh. I have all the details of what I ate and what I thought and how the process went. So I wanna get the details out to you guys of how the new process works at the buffet, the pros and cons of this new design and a full food review. So if you guys like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I really appreciate you subscribing. We are gonna be putting up a bunch of new Vegas content for you, planning a trip and how to do Vegas right. So thank you in advance for that. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I have a bunch of cool pictures. I'm gonna be uploading some pictures of the food there. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's start with how the buffet works now. So instead of it being a traditional buffet, you are now doing an all you can eat concept. I have gone to quite a few all you can eat concepts and this one is extremely similar to that. When you arrive, you are going to make a reservation and then when you are seated, they're gonna hand you a QR code that you scan and you're gonna have a menu on your phone. And from there, you will order all your dishes. The server let us know that typically you should order maybe three dishes a person. Uh, if you order too many, they might get cold on your table, obviously, is kind of what she was telling us. But essentially, you could order as much as you'd like, and they will bring it out to you directly. You have a two-hour time slot to order your food. So we ordered as much as we could, as fast as we could. We ordered about five dishes at a time. And then as we were finishing up a set of dishes, our server would come over and order more dishes for us. You don't just have one server. We did have one who took all of our orders, but there was a group of people that would come and drop off the dishes and refill our drinks and take plates away. So there was a lot of people helping us at once. Okay, I wanna get into the pros and cons now that you know how it kind of operated. Things I really liked. I thought the price was pretty fair considering it is a buffet in Las Vegas because they can be very expensive and I think this is considered more of one of the high-end buffets. The price for brunch, which we ate a late brunch, we were eating at about 1.30 in the afternoon. Our brunch was $49 per person which I think for a two hour time slot of all you can eat was pretty fair. And I do feel like I got very full and got my money's worth for $49. They also offer an endless pour option for $30 a person. You can drink all the sparkling wine, wine, beer, and a few cocktails for $30. And I think if we were in the mood for drinking, it would have been a really great deal because drinks in Vegas can be very, very expensive. We opted out for this one because it was, a little early for us to be drinking. Another thing I really liked, I thought the portions of each dish were really, really excellent. They were kind of a tapas style. So each portion was perfect for trying it, sampling it, seeing how you liked it, and then ordering another dish. That way there was a lot less food waste because they're serving you that right tasting dish and you were able to try a lot more things because the portions were so excellent. I thought the food was really good and I'm gonna get into that later on in the review here. Our server was excellent. She was very, very friendly. She was very attentive. I thought she did a great job explaining the concept, keeping us like keeping us going. Our drinks were always refilled right on time. They cleared the dishes away from our table really quickly. So the serving staff was doing a really, really great job there. So I think that that is a definite plus. Okay, the setting of this buffet is gorgeous, and that was another big plus for us. We just felt like we were in a really, really elegant setting. I have to say, I think this is an extremely beautiful buffet. Okay, so let's get into my cons. So, one of the cons I have is that we had to make a reservation, and so I was really stressed to make it to the reservation because we were running a little late that morning, and then we checked in and we were just told to go wait in the line. Well, typically when you go to a buffet, you don't make a reservation, you come and you wait in the line, and then once you're up to the front, you go. In this case, we had to make a reservation and then basically wait in a line. 
and we did have to wait for 20 to 25 minutes. It, it was kind of a long wait. I know maybe 25 minutes isn't the longest thing, especially if you were just waiting to go into the buffet, it wouldn't seem long. But when you have it in your brain that you've made a reservation and that you're gonna walk up to the desk and be seated, that can be a little frustrating. With everything going on right now and social distancing, they couldn't fill all their tables. So I guess I can kind of see why this was happening because there were a ton of empty tables that I don't think they were able to use. But it was just kind of a strange thing to make a reservation to a place, hurry to get to your reservation, only to kind of stand in a line. So that was one of the things that I would consider to be kind of a con. One of the other big cons is that we had a big lull. I have eaten at quite a few all you can eat concepts for restaurants where it's you sit down and you pay this price and it's as much as you can eat. I've done it at a couple breakfast places, sushi places. And one thing I notice is that they always start to slow down your orders. So after a while, they just stop bringing you food. Now I thought, okay, maybe that won't happen here at a $50 price tag maybe the food's just gonna come out right away. And at first it did. We would order and within three minutes, some of that food would start to come to the table. It was so quick right at the beginning. We ordered maybe three rounds of tasting food. And then once we got to like the fourth round, I think it was, there was like a gap of, I have to say it had to be at least 15, maybe 20 minutes where nothing came out, none of the food came to the table. And unfortunately, once those dishes did come, they started coming cold. We were on a roll tasting the dishes, tasting the dishes. We wanted to taste as many as we could and get our money's worth, of course. And suddenly they just kind of came to an abrupt stop. And then when they did start coming back, they were cold and then we were full. Uh, our server was so apologetic and she said she was so, so sorry and didn't know what had happened and that she spoke to her manager. I don't know if this was an unusual situation or if something happened. We'd ordered kind of a wide variety of things, so I don't think it was all from one kitchen. And my last con I would say is that I mentioned in the pros that this buffet is absolutely beautiful. Like we said, it kind of looked like something that would be in like Willy Wonka's house or something. It was just such a beautifully designed buffet. And to not be able to walk up to the buffet area and see all the food laid out and looking gorgeous and kind of picking what looks good or smells good, it does detract from the experience. So I think that if you are somebody who really loves the concept of a buffet, that'll be a big turnoff for you. I was a little disappointed that we couldn't just go and look and pick up food because it's just a really beautiful environment to be in. So that's something to consider. Overall, I think that the pros and cons are pretty even as far as the reimagined design, but I hope that giving you those two pros and cons can kind of help you decide. Okay, I wanna get into my review of the food. So our server let us know that there were 88 different options coming out of 11 different kitchens and we tried to order a little of everything. I will have the menus up that I will post up here for you guys that you can take a look at. One thing I will say is we didn't really delve into any breakfast foods because when, by the time we got there, it was about 1.30 in the afternoon and we were really not in the mood for breakfast. So the first thing I tried, of course, right off the bat is sushi. Sushi is one of my favorite foods. So the first ones I tried were the California roll. I'm not a huge California roll person to begin with because I usually just feel like it doesn't really taste that much like real sushi, but it was kind of fishy. That one was not my favorite. I did try the smoked salmon roll and that one had capers and cream cheese. That one was really, really good. The smoked salmon roll had a really good flavor. The sukimono roll was a pickled daikon and radish sushi roll and that one shocked me. That one really surprised me because it was really good. That one was almost my favorite actually out of all of them. It was just really refreshing. It was really delicious. I could have ate an entire roll of the sukimono roll. That was really, really good. And then I had the spicy tuna and shrimp roll, which was my favorite. Even though I don't normally like those fried sushi rolls, this just had a, such a delicious flavor with the sauces on top and it was cooked really well. I really, really enjoyed that roll. I ordered two of those because that one was really delicious. All right, another all-star dish was the American Wagyu beef slider. I don't know what American Wagyu is, but this was a really yummy little burger. Um, it was a perfect size to get like, 
I don't know, maybe four bites out of it. And it came with just a little bit of French fries to go with. The meat was really delicious. The bun was warm and good. This was a really yummy little dish. And uh, I definitely recommend that one. We also tried the beef ribs with coleslaw. It was a huge rib, but oh my gosh, it was fantastic. The meat fell right off of the rib, just clean off, and all of the um, fat had been just totally rendered and was soft and tender and juicy. And the barbecue that went with it was really, really good. The only downfall to this dish was that the coleslaw was hot because it was on a hot plate. And I wish they had kind of kept it in a little separate um, dish off to the side cold because coleslaw is cold and then it goes good with the hot, warm barbecue. That's my only downfall to that dish, but the beef ribs were absolutely delicious. All right, the first bad dish we had was the calamari. It came out ice cold and that was so unfortunate because calamari is one of our favorites. It's an appetizer we almost always order when we see it on the menu. It was so cold. Have you ever had like cold fried food where the batter was like greasy and just, it was so unfortunate. I couldn't even really tell you how the flavor was because it was just such an unpleasant texture because it was cold. So that was the only, that was the first disappointment we had. Everything else before that had been so good, but that one was definitely a fail. Then we tried the pineapple and pork fried rice. This was good. It was very curry forward. It had a really, really strong curry and a very strong uh, pork flavor. It was like almost verging on like a gamey pork flavor. It was it was intense. That's it was it was intense. Um, we tried this one. We thought it was pretty good, but we didn't finish it. It wasn't our favorite. It was very strong flavors, and I also got the feeling that this would really fill you. So we didn't eat the whole thing, but it was okay. We also had the steamed barbecue pork bun. This was also okay. It wasn't anything amazing. It was it was good. It had good flavor. I noticed that a lot of the uh, Asian inspired dishes came out very sweet. So with the porno pineapple and pork fried rice, it was very curry forward and it was very sweet. And then the steamed barbecue bun had a very sweet flavor as well. And I like when my Asian food has a lot of that umami flavor or when it's really like soy saucy and salty. And I, I didn't get a lot of that with these dishes. So for that reason, they weren't my favorite. Next, we ordered the grilled peach caprese salad. I didn't taste any peach in this. Um, I'm not sure where the peaches were. It just kind of tasted like a caprese salad. It was a good caprese salad, but it just tasted like caprese salad. All right, the cured meats and cheese platter. I would skip this one, you guys. I love charcuterie boards. They're like one of my favorite things ever, but I just found this to be uh, not not a, not that great. I think the cheese kind of sat out at room temperature for too long. So it was that like milly peel, like, you know, when your cheese sits out at room temp and it's not wrapped up, it didn't have its flavor anymore. It had like dried out. So skip that one. All right, the chili marinated strip loin. This had just Cheeto peppers and onion strings. This is when stuff started to kind of come out a little bit cold. So you're gonna notice that some of the stuff started coming out cold here. And so that's when things started to go downhill. Um, we liked this dish. It was very soft and tender. It had good flavor. The onion strings were good. We were also starting to get full at this point. So you'll notice that at this point we started to kind of stop finishing stuff. We did finish this dish all the way because it was very good. All right, the sp spicy honey shrimp was a surprise hit. This was one of my husband's favorites out of the entire menu. It just had really good flavor. It was hot, it was good. We didn't eat all the white rice underneath because it's just gonna make you full, but the shrimp themselves, we finished all of those. That was really, really good. It was a standout dish. Next, we tried the pot stickers. These are not the best pot stickers I've ever had. The problem was that I ordered these right at the start, like right away, I was like, I want the pot stickers. I love pot stickers to go with my sushi, yum. And they didn't come until near the end and I think they must have run out or there was some sort of problem because I had to ask our server and be like, hey, I never received the pot stickers. And she had to go and find out what was going on with that. So that was unfortunate. So I think when they came, I was like, had these really high expectations for these pot stickers and they were just okay, unfortunately. All right, the sweet chili chicken wings. So here we go again with kind of the Asian style food. It was, they were so sweet, so, so sweet. And they just didn't have 
um, enough spice, enough kick. The meat was very flavorful and tender and the meat was good. If you like a sweet wing, if you're really into sweet, sweet wings, you would like this. I wanted them to be a little hotter. A lot of the food didn't have a ton of like spice to it, which, you know, they're trying to tend to a lot of palates so I can kind of understand. All right, the dry rubbed rotisserie chicken was delicious. This was a great dish. It was super flavorful. The meat had been brined and you could just taste the brine in the chicken. It was tender and juicy. The barbecue sauce was super good. It, this was a great dish. And if this was like at a restaurant and they served it, I would be just super happy to have this as my dish. This was such a good dish, loved it. The grilled salmon, this was such a letdown, guys. This is another like big thumbs down one, like the calamari, it was ice cold, ice, ice cold. Um, the grits had totally formed that hard hockey puck that they form when you don't get to it in time and they, they were just not good. The salmon got all kind of hard from sitting there. It was just cold, so I can't give you really the full review on it because it came out totally wrong. This was towards the end of our meal and we were getting full too and it was just, it was cold, it was not good. We ordered the macaroni and cheese, Gouda, cheddar, and mozzarella, huge yes. The mac and cheese was a huge yes. We were stuffed at this point, completely stuffed, and we devoured this macaroni and cheese. It was like that perfect combination of craft macaroni and cheese and homemade macaroni and cheese. It was like the two things had a baby together and it was phenomenal, so good. Order it at the end so you don't get all full on the macaroni and cheese, but holy cow, it was delicious. All right, we ordered the fish and chips. Once again, this was cold. Seems like it was the seafood section that everything was coming out cold and it was a big disappointment. I like fish and chips a lot and it was supposed to have this malt vinegar flavor. I couldn't really tell because again, it was just, it was ice cold. So not, not a fan of that one, thumbs down there. Shrimp cocktail was the last dish. This came out after we'd even paid. Like it took a really long time to get the shrimp cocktail. It came out and it was really good. So the shrimp cocktail was good. So obviously the, the cold seafood buffet was fine, but it was just the warm seafood that ended up being kind of a mess. All right guys, so that's my thoughts on the buffet. That was my reviews. I think you'll see that overall, the things that did come out perfectly hot were delicious. Um, and then things that came out ice cold, obviously I couldn't really give you a good review. And again, when I go to buffets, that's something I notice is that the food is sometimes not all the way hot and that can be really off putting for me. And I was wondering if by having this reimagined buffet, if that wouldn't happen. Unfortunately, it still did. I gave you kind of my total thoughts on the food. I have a generally positive experience on the food. I think the food generally was really darn good and I would go back again. Now, should you go back again is the real question. Should you go? Is this worth it? I think the price point is worth the food. Yes, I think you're gonna come out very full and I think that the amount of food you get is really good. That being said, if you love buffets and you wanna go up to the buffet and you wanna pick the food out, maybe you should wait. I would maybe wait personally until it goes back to being a regular buffet. I would wait until the buffet comes back and then I can go and pick out all my dishes at my pace and eat them at my speed. And then maybe I'll give you guys a whole nother review when it does reopen and when things hopefully go back to the way they were. Those are my final thoughts. I think it was a lot of pros and a lot of cons. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about it. I wanted to give you guys a really brutally honest review of everything we tried. Overall, we liked it, and I think I would try again the food. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it again, please thanks, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you're interested in subscribing, I'd be really happy to have you. And uh, we will see you guys back again in the next video. Thanks.